Now at 6, we continue tracking Hurricane Harvey just hours from landfall in Texas. We have a live look from a camera overlooking Galveston, Texas. Harvey's already bringing wind, rain, big waves to the Gulf Coast. Now with Harvey expected to linger for days, our pinpoint weather team says there could be catastrophic flooding and wind damage. Meteorologist Pete Mangione talked to a local hurricane expert about Harvey, as well as the local Red Cross who are getting ready to send help. As Harvey charges towards Texas, Rhode Islanders from the Red Cross are on standby. No Rhode Island Red Cross workers are in Texas yet, but that may change according to Stephanie Archangelo, the American Red Cross Chief Communication Officer for Rhode Island and Connecticut. She's currently based in Houston. I don't have an estimate on the number of Rhode Islanders that we would need. I can tell you that we're going to need at least a couple of thousand Red Cross workers from across the country, if not more. And it's likely some of those will come from the Ocean State, although that might not be until next week. Storm surge and wind will be huge factors with Harvey, but it's the rainfall forecasts that are truly eye-opening for University of Rhode Island hurricane expert Dr. Isaac Guinness. I've seen forecasts up to 40, 50 inches of accumulated rainfall uh, over the next uh, three days. Have you ever seen that in the, a computer model for part of the United States before? No, I haven't. He does point out that in 2001, Tropical Storm Allison dumped heavy rain, creating catastrophic flooding in parts of Texas. However, that storm had much weaker winds. What is unusual about this case is the Harvey is coming in not only with a significant amount of rain, but also very strong wind. And Dr. Guinness was very careful to point out just how uncertain the forecast for tropical storms and hurricanes can be. Those forecast rainfall amounts could easily end up well above or below the current forecast range. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.